Alright. Let's go bring this guy in. Well guys, you have no idea how good it feels to catch this fish. Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. <laughs> Guys, Chris here. I am back with another episode for you guys today. So, uh, it's been about a week since they filmed the video out of Long Island fishing the Middle Grounds. Didn't catch too much, a bit disappointed about that. But today, guys, hopefully we'll get some redemption. We're going down to the Hudson and then a Matheson Park near to New York. And hopefully we'll get on some fish. Honestly, guys, I'm just hoping for anything. Catfish, yeah, perch, eel, any kind of fish would be welcome. Uh, and also, guys, sadly, this is the last video I'm going to be able to film this summer. I guess I might be able to film one or two videos during the school year before 2019 is over, but this is probably going to be one of the last ones. All right, guys, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys at the Hudson. All right, guys, just arrived. Yeah, that's all the tackle. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up one of the rods, and then after that, I'm not gonna bother you with the uh, little details. I'm just gonna get the rods out there, and maybe we'll get on some fish. Let's set up the first rod, though. We're gonna start off with our uh, snook rod. Like I said, it is uh, a little messed up. Oh my god. What the hell? How did that happen? So we're gonna have to uh, be careful with the way we cast it because the top part actually snapped off the rod and I had to do some stuff to fix it, but it's not 100% secure. So we're gonna go ahead and put the shrimp on like so. And uh, yeah, let's get it out there. All right guys, got the first rod. Let's go ahead and make our first cast. Ooh, that is a juice cast right there. All right guys, so we got all the rods in the water. All looking pretty good, pretty excited about today. The weather is very overcast, which is always great for fishing down by the Hudson. Uh, and yeah, I guess we'll see what we can catch. Honestly, like I said, hoping for anything. So, and I guess we'll see you guys when I get a fish. A few moments later. All right guys, so I'm getting tapped on this rod. Something kept on stealing my bait, so I decided to hold the rod instead of just letting it sit there on the bench. And uh, might have already taken the bait. I might have already stolen the bait. I'm not sure. I just had a whole bunch of really quick taps. It was definitely fish, not a crab. Pretty sure it was probably a little perch or something. Uh, let me go check the bait real quick. I want to make sure it's not gone. I am really disappointed, guys. I don't know why I just did this. I was really stupid. But uh, I was checking one of the lines. I brought it in. I did not have the camera on. And I saw a little thing at, at the end of the line. I pulled it in and it was... Uh, guys, I'm pretty sure it was a Spanish mackerel or some kind of mackerel. It had teeth, had a mackerel, torpedo-shaped body, and I was just completely shocked. It was purple, yellow, had these crazy colors, and I was like, okay, that is insane, and it would be really great content for you guys. So what I did was, sometimes, guys, in order to actually make a better video, I will cast the fish back out there if I didn't have my camera, and I'll pretend to bring the fish back in like it's the first time around. I did that. And here's the thing guys, I didn't actually touch the fish. I just pulled out of the water, held the line, looked at it in shock and just tossed it back out there. And I started to reel it in and I realized it fell off the hook. So, I don't know guys, I know there's no proof of this and it'd be pretty crazy if that actually was a Spanish mackerel. All right, well, I'm gonna get the other rods out of the water and uh, we're gonna have to leave in about 20 minutes. But let's see if we can catch a fish. All right guys, well I just uh, baited my sabiki rig with a whole bunch of shrimp. Uh, that's what the Spanish mackerel bit on in hopes of trying to catch one or some kind of fish living in the shallow area. I've seen people using cast nets here and they actually uh, managed to get some striped bass in it, which is pretty cool. Little baby stripers, and I know uh, little baby stripers will go for shrimp on a sabiki rig like this or really any kind of bait fish in the area. So we're going to go ahead and jig this along the bottom to catch a fish. I'm not 100% sure, guys, if this is going to work, but you know, I've seen it done before, so that means it works somewhere. Oh, no way, guys. I have a fish, I have a fish on the, on the sabiki. Fish on the sabiki, guys. Yes, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, no way, it's another one of the mackerel. <laughs> I was right, there are more of them. Yes, okay, it qualifies as a catch now. Let's go. 
have no idea how good this feels. Look at that, that's insane. On the Sabiki rig too. Oh man, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just got that on film. Okay, okay, let me show you guys on the big camera what this fish looks like. All right guys, this is the first official fish of the day on the channel. Uh, some kind of mackerel, I know that for a fact. It's a uh, pelagic type bait fish. Guys, you have no idea how good it feels to catch this fish. After I lost it, I was like, you know, really annoyed. I thought I was never gonna catch another one. That was my only chance, but guys, check that out. Oh my God, it's insane. All right, let's, uh, let's get him back. This is a crazy catch, guys. I cannot believe this just happened. Woo! All right, guys, doing the last cast with the sabiki. Uh, oh, oh my God, <laughs> no way, I got another one. I was just doing a couple of last casts with the sabiki, guys, and I was hoping to uh, catch a few fish before I go. Oh, what the heck is this? What on earth, guys? No way. Check it out, check it out. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it's a lizard fish. That is actually incredible. I thought, guys, these fish were only found in, like, Florida. Just like the Spanish Mac. That is absolutely insane. All right, guys, second species of the day. I gotta be fast here. A little lizard fish. Not sure what type. I'm pretty sure this is also a new species. I caught a few in Hawaii off camera, but this is, guys, a, uh, a uh, lizard fish in the Hudson River. This is insane, guys. First Spanish mackerel, then a lizard fish. That is incredible. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, release this fish. Well, guys, that uh, was also completely unexpected. Two, like, almost tropical fish caught at the Hudson River. Like, I don't I keep on, like, repeating myself with that, but that is just ridiculous. Like, Catching a lizard fish, number one. I mean, okay, maybe I might be wrong about that. I always thought that those were just like, you know, tropical fish, because I caught a couple in Hawaii and I always heard about them in Florida and seen other videos of that, but like, catching them in the Hudson, guys, is pretty insane. And then obviously catching the mackerel. Like, I knew there were bait fish here and I knew there were some fish, like, in the pelagic family that came into the Hudson, but I always thought that was really rare. So, to catch two mackerel like that, one of them off camera, one of them on camera for you guys, is also insane. Well, I have no more time to waste, guys. I gotta head out now. But I'm gonna do my conclusion, guys, when I get back to the house. See you in a minute. All right, guys, well, that was, I would say, the best day I've ever had down at the Hudson River. But sadly, guys, that marks the end of the fishing adventures of the summer of 2019. Uh, I mean, what can I say, guys? That was just really incredible. I started off the summer, guys, going to the Irmington Reservoir and trying to get some really great underwater shots for you guys. And uh, I did pretty well with that. Then we had the Florida experience, which was just incredible. I caught, I think, 13 new species, including uh, a really nice, like, 15-pound, 36-inch snook. It was a big fish and a couple other snook like that. And then in Hawaii, guys, in the Hawaii tour, I managed to catch... Um, a wahoo and uh, quite a few new species of fish you guys also see the other fish that i've caught for the rest of the summer doing the long island trips you know catching the fluke was nice and catching all the other fish in between was also really nice going down to the hudson going back to the reservoir just filming all these video guys was really incredible and i'm really happy that it happened anyway guys hope you enjoyed the summer and this video and as always if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one